In under 5 minutes, I'll cover the Saiga 12 and its conversions in this video. Starting now! The Saiga 12 in Phantom Forces is a strong shotgun that shoots 27 damage pellets up to 45 studs. Within this range, it can one-shot enemies if you hit them enough. Don't worry too much about bullet drop unless you're shooting really far. As well as this, the shotgun is a semi-automatic at 350 RPM, meaning that you can spam the gun at close ranges, making the Saiga 12 a potent killing machine. The gun holds 8 shells per magazine and 50 reserves. The weapon tactically reloads at 2.6 6 seconds, whilst an empty reload is 3.6 seconds. I recommend you put on a sight with a laser and a lengthened barrel. You can either use the vertical grip for speedier aim or Romanian grip for less recoil. Retract stock is recommended though blue laser works for those who wish for less bounce on trigger pull at the cost of slower aim. I recommend flechette for those who want to have wall penetration and I recommend birdshot in general due to its increased power. The gun best performs as hip fire as the recoil kick is minimal and aim only centers the shotgun spread. This gun performs best in maps like containers o fun which is small and CTC centric. Saiga 223 is a worse M16 A3. Its damage values are the same but decreased by 2. It is slower and has less damage range but retains the 40 round magazine that the 223 Remington M16A3 once had. It is fit for long range but suffers in close range due to its slowness. Bullet drop is minimal and the firing mechanism is automatic at 650 RPM. A tactical reload lasts 3.1 seconds but an empty reload lasts 3.5 seconds. Although the replica Saiga 223 has worse penetration than the original, the penetration offered is enough to shoot through walls akin to those of warehouse. You may use any site for the Saiga 223, compensator, stubby grip, blue laser, and all of this helps dampen the recoil and kick. The general play style of this weapon is similar to an LMG, however, it cannot shoot through thicker walls. Play passively. The Saiga 9 is a strange PDWG 11K. Its damage values are from the MP5 with increased damage by 2 on a close range up to 40 studs, which is better than the MP5. Its effective range goes up to medium coverage. Technically, the Saiga 9 can perform at long ranges, but I do not recommend it. Bullet drop is minimal, and the firing mechanism is burst with 735 RPM. This gun has 30 bullets in its magazine and reloads tactically at 2.7 seconds, whilst an empty reload lasts 3.6 seconds. You may use any sight as usual, and I recommend that you use the compensator, stubby grip, and blue laser. These detachments dampen the recoil. Keep in mind that you can emulate auto by tapping fire on the gun in the rhythm. But please keep in mind, when using it as burst as usual, be wary of the recoil. Play aggressively. The Saiga 762 is a mix between the AK-47 and the AKM. Its damage values mimic an AK's with an effective range up to medium coverage but not that far due to camera recoil. The bullet drop is palpable but negligible due to its effective range, with the mechanism being auto at an RPM of 600. This gun has 30 bullets and reloads tactically at 2.5 seconds, whilst an empty reload lasts 3.3 seconds. I recommend using a red dot for this one, as these attachments make this gun more viable. Play semi-aggressive in a way where you deal a lot of damage whilst retaining some distance. Like the MC-51, the Saiga 308 is a slow-firing auto. Its damage allows for an infinite 3 trap torso. Its effective range is long but diminished at short ranges. Bullet drop is non-present but the issue lies in the recoil. The magazine capacity is 20, a tactical reload is 3 seconds, and an empty reload is 3.4 seconds. The best attachments are a red dot sight, muzzle brake, Romanian grip, and blue laser. I recommend you play passively and from a range to make use of its damage. The Saiga 953 is an SVDS clone. Effectively, the range of that of a sniper or DM a headshot is one shot, however, up to 36 studs, a torso shot is one shot. The bullet drop is negligible. Being semi at 105 RPM with 10 bullets per magazine, you must put on attachments as you would be with a DMR. Pick any scope, then muzzle brake, angle grip, and green laser. You may use retract stock if you like, which you have to balance with folding grip. Play like a sniper, but preferably, try to avoid those faster than you for, for yourself a headshot before they can. The Saiga 50 is a one-shot headshot and a one-shot body shot at all ranges. However, the Saiga 50 can only one-shot up to 45 studs for limb shots. This gun is a BFG but faster with lower penetration and horrible velocity. Bullet drop is more noticeable at intended sniper ranges. The sniper is semi-only at 25 RPM with only one bullet per shot. The reload time is 2.5 seconds. Any scope is preferable but it's imperative to use muzzle brake, skeleton grip, and remove stock to effectively use this gun. And time! Did I do it? I did! I hope you caught all of that. I'm out of here.